I was not gonna start a vlog this week, um, which is why I'm recording on my phone. But since I'm having one of these really amazing days, I figured, you know what, let's start a vlog. So I'm currently at the Asian market getting some goods. Um, I'm getting like mirin, fish sauce, just like things to make sauces with and like to cook with. So like mirin, fish sauce, some like pre-packed noodles. I get my nails done not too far from here. I just got a mani-pedi and they look so good. And I got to go back to my main girl, Michelle. She's been on vacation for a month, again, by the way, just to put that out there. So I was able to go back to her and I'm super excited. So since I'm in the area, I was like, let me go to the Japanese market and get some goodies. Ooh, they have dumplings. Maybe I should get some dumplings. Ooh, and shumai. I never really get anything from the frozen section, but like I get like noodles and like sauces and stuff, but like I'm kind of itching to scrap. So maybe I'll get some stuff and do a little haul later. Okay, I'm home from the Japanese market. It's called Sunrise Mart. So I'm just gonna do a quick haul. It's called Sunrise Mart. I'm sorry, my camera just went out of focus. Don't know why. Actually, I do know why, but that's beside the point. So I got a couple things. I got fish sauce. This fish sauce is only $3 and it's freaking huge. So I'll be going again. I got more Kewpie Mayo. I use this stuff a lot. I got some shrimp shumai, just like regular shrimp shumai to steam. Then I got jumbo pork shumai. I got crab shumai. I love shumai. I love shumai, I love dumplings. I got crab ones. I've never tried the crab before, so I'm really excited to try those. I got some shrimp tempura. I throw these in the air fryer and go to town. I also got rice vinegar. I was running low on rice vinegar. Mirin, I was fully out of mirin. Love mirin like to cook with when I make like fried rice and stuff like that. And then last thing I got is just some of these pre-packaged noodles. I'm gonna make like a noodle soup this week, like a noodle miso soup, but then I'm gonna drop some of the pork dumplings from Trader Joe's in there. I'm gonna do that on TikTok. Um, that should be quick and cute and easy. I have some like bok choy and spinach that I'm gonna throw in there too. And just like a quick, easy soup top with a little bit of chili crunch and soy sauce. Yeah, so these noodles are really good to work with. Also, I like stir fry them. And yeah, that's it. Altogether, this stuff was like $45, I think, or $50, like super cheap. You know, you get everything you need and yeah. Now I'm gonna pack some orders and I have a meeting at 6.30, a Zoom meeting at 6.30. And then I wanna watch um, TV with my girls tonight. I think I wanna watch um, Baddies West. I love ghetto programming. I love ghetto programming. You know what else I'm watching that I'm really loving? SWV and Escape, uh, the Queens show on Bravo. Quality programming. Like, honestly, the way I am these days, I'm Latasha about the situation. Like, if you need to get robbed, you need to get. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally joking. Latasha is criminal, like robbing your sister. You and your husband robbing your sister is one thing, but you and your husband robbing your sister and groupmates is another thing. Like that's kind of sick. Actually, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, oh, real quick. I wanted to come back and talk about my nails. Like, mm. Okay, so. I really want it to be clear that when I get frustrated about living, about living below people, it's not for no reason. Like when I moved in here, I was told without even mentioning anything, I already, I already had reservations about living under eight. When I moved in here, the child was two. She's now three. And I already had reservations about that because I know how children are and it's not the child's fault. It's not the child's fault at all because she's a child, 
I'm not gonna blame a child and say, you just need to sit still and no, that's ridiculous. But what the problem is, is when I moved in here, I was told without me having to mention anything like, oh, we're really quiet people, we're really nice. Like if we drop anything on the floor, you'll hear us say sorry, yada, yada, yada. Never heard it once, never heard it once. Okay, the child does cartwheels, backflips, gymnastics above my head. If it, like, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Not to mention, there's not one of them. There's two. So there's a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Okay, so it's constant. It is constant. Just back and forth all day long. And it's just like, it is the part of the parents who are also the landlords to say, we have a tenant. We need to be respectful of, you know, how often we're on the floor and the creaming the creaming <laughs> the screaming and the crying and the kicking and all of the things that you know happen that i hear all day every day i am exhausted <sighs> i forgot even why i came back on it was to talk about my nails i'm just so happy and i can't even express how happy i am because i'm so pissed right now but i'm just so happy that michelle is back because michelle Michelle went on vacation. She went on vacation in January. But I was able to get my nails done in LA by my OG nail girl, Kelly. Then I got back and I got my nails done again and then one more time before I went to Paris. Then recently I tried to go for a, for like a touch up and stuff and a pedicure and Michelle was out of town again. And I'm like, okay, girl, you've taken two vacations and not even like, you know, two day vacations or three day vacations, even four day vacations. Like these are like two week long vacations. I'm like, you've taken not one, but two, two week vacations in the span of three months. I must be tipping you too much. I'm not understanding. Like, where is this cheddar coming from? And how can I get some? Because, wow. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. I'm very happy with how my nails look. She just... She's the best, at, well, she's the best next to Kelly, but yes, that's it. That's all. Come on, Jenna. Move this phone so I could put this on my vlog. Okay. These are the little bites. We're having girls' night. So these are our appetizers from the Japan market. Hey, me now. You like them? Like this is not the Trader Joe's one. It like it. Whatever, bitch. Exactly like Happy Tuesday. Well, I feel like this is up too high. Anyway, every time I went and got a haircut, every time I go get a haircut, this guy cuts me. It's like no fail. He cuts me, but he always gets the wig together. I'm just like, I really do need to find another barber because it's like he's not good, but. It's fairly priced, it's quick, it's close, it's convenient, but you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. Like, he cuts me every single time. Um, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna clean myself up, but there's been a message that I wanna share, but let me go run and get my alcohol, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just feel like today, has been a really heavy day. So I saw a mutual friend of mine who I met years ago. Um, his name is Tommy. I saw him last week at an event at the Met. And today I get on Twitter and he is gone. He's died. And it's just like, outside of that, I just have been having these like thoughts about, you know, look, at your friend group and look at the people you're friends with and look to the right of you and look to the left of you. Especially now at 30 where all of my friends are, you know, we're 30, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You know what I'm saying? Look at all of your friends who are to the left of you and to the right of you. We're all going through something and we're all excelling in some sort of way and life is moving us forward. But Life doesn't move you forward without some form of struggle and some sort of strife. And, you know, I lost a friend years ago right as he turned 30, right before he turned 30. And I just, 30 feels like such a milestone time for me, for me and the people around me. 30 just feels so 
important. It feels so, I don't know. I don't know the word I'm trying to find, but it, it feels like such an important time in life because the way I'm looking at things is life is an escalator and we're constantly trying to go up to reach that winning season, to reach that goal, to reach that high height where we know I'm doing it, I've made it, I'm here, I'm in my my success era or whatever the case may be. But with all of that being said, you know, it the escalator doesn't go backwards. And I had a conversation last night where a friend of mine kept talking about, you know, what happened in the past and how, you know, things were good then and back then and back then and back then. And it's funny because you don't see things until you're seeing it. You don't see yourself until you see yourself in someone else. And what I say by that is I'm someone who is good at doing that. I don't like I don't want to admit it but I live in the past all the time I'm like oh when I was doing this when I was living here when I was when I was when I was when I was and it's just like you're so far back there focusing on what's back there that you're missing where you're at now and where you could be going and where you're going is much better than where you've been and I know all of these elements and all of these things that I'm saying might not be making much sense, but it's just been playing and ringing in my head nonstop about how life really does move you forward, but it does take so much effort and moving forward is not an easy job. It's not quick. In fact, the further you move forward is the harder it gets until you, you know, I don't even know if you ever get to a point where you're just like, I'm okay because it might be, you know, then I need the kids to be okay or the partner to be okay or, you know, the family to be okay or our parents are getting sick, whatever the case may be. You know, it's always something and it's really just about how you handle those some things, how you handle and react to those things, you know, but I just feel like it, it's so interesting how life happens and how many elements of life there are and how it, it's so important to kind of just be present and really look to the left of you and look to the right of you and make sure you're showing love to everyone surrounding you you know and even with Tommy I hadn't seen him in so long and I saw him at the event he was like Scott Louie you look so good and I was like oh my god it's so good to see you like you know and it was like all hugs and love but it it's just so crazy how here today gone tomorrow and it, it just doesn't it doesn't feel real until it's real you know it and, and it's so real and instead of spending so much time thinking about the past and we're thinking that's behind us now and we're never going to get those days back we're never going to get this moment back and i i don't know why all of these niche all of these cliche not niche all of these cliche things that we've we hear all the time and, you know, all these things. Maybe it's just me, but I've been someone where I'm like, oh, girl, that's so cliche. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it really is true. All these little things that you hear, they really are so true. And it, it is truly so important to really be present and really just live in the moment because tomorrow is not promised. Um, I didn't want to take this here. I never want to take it here. I never want to get deep. I want it to always be fun and real, but like, this is me and this is where I'm at right now. So, on a lighter and brighter note, I'm making lamb chops and I'm so excited. Um, those will be on TikTok as well and Instagram Reels. I keep forgetting to promote the fact that there's Instagram Reels as well as TikTok. So it'll be on Instagram and TikTok at Dinner Plus. It's the same old handle, so go check those out. I truly though just cannot believe how this man cuts me every time I go and get a haircut. Like, I know I have like 95 thoughts going on in my head right now and in this vlog, but I'm just so stunned at how, like, do you have a license? How are you able to cut someone every single time they come and get a haircut? And how am I stupid enough to still be going to this man and tipping him? Like, you know, as much as I love convenience, I also have to give up my love for convenience. Because sometimes you do have to just do a little extra work. Because I should not have to keep dealing with this and still be paying to be harmed and marred. Look at my skin. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm gonna like put some calming spray on this because now my neck is so red and inflamed. 
and I have to film this thing. Damn it. Okay, I'll call y'all back later. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, it is 9.50 a.m. It's 9.50 a.m. I have to film a, I have an interview and it's gonna be filmed over um, Zoom. Sorry, I'm like just waking up and so is my brain. Um, it's gonna be filmed over Zoom, so I have to put on a little, little makeup and stuff and do a little bit of skincare, so I'm kind of gonna walk you guys through my skincare routine. I'm really not actually, because I don't really do much in the morning, but um, I use these cotton squares from Walgreens. These are the best. I love these ones the most because they're like super gentle like super soft and they don't shed like they don't shed in the beard facial hair area i y'all know i can't grow a beard so i just say the facial hair area and then they have like this little pocket thing here i don't really know what the pockets for but i put two fingers in there and then just add my micellar water the garnier micellar water this one has the this is the all-in-one with hyaluronic acid and aloe and i just like go on the pad with a few drops and just like wake my skin up I don't wash my face in the morning I know that might sound a little nasty if I have like a product on that's like very heavy like a very heavy moisturizer I'll do a cold rinse but like I don't strip my skin in the morning anymore and like I just go upward sweep 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 and like if I get any residue on here see she's fairly clean but like if there's any residue on here, I'll go in with another one. But since she's fairly clean, like there's not much residue on it, I'm just gonna do one time just to wake my skin up. And then I do a hydrating spray. So this is, I don't even know what brand, how to say this, is it Avene, Avene? The Otemel. It's just a thermal spring water. And then it's all over the face. Really, I'm just trying to rehydrate. <clears throat> really, I'm just trying to rehydrate my skin and wake my face up. So I'll do that after my micellar water. Um, I've already brushed my teeth. And then hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. While my skin is still wet, just a few pumps without letting the dropper touch your face. Just a few pumps on. And then I just gently rub it in everywhere, not forgetting the neck. Like, I like to look as glossy as possible. It's gonna dry in, so don't worry. Um, and I just like let, rub that in until it like starts to like dry in. And you see that like a glazed donut then I also rub everything into my hands normally I would do this two-step combo so normally I would go in with the belief aqua bomb I wear the aqua bomb during the daytime moisture bomb at nighttime so I would go in with aqua bomb and then murad vitamin C with sunscreen this is SPF 30 sunscreen moisturizer so this first this after but because i'm about to do a face i'm gonna do the tatcha dewy skin cream this is like i call this like my pre-primer so i put this on before i put on any kind of makeup product and it comes with this little if you've used Tatcha before you know it comes with this little like uh it's not a scalpel what do you call this I don't know and I just like use it and put it into the palm of my hand just so I caught it just so it's super sterile and like I'm not like you know adding anything to the actual basin of product from under my nails or anything so like and then I just do a little do really I'm just trying to highlight the places I'm really trying to focus on the places that I want the most dewiness you know, so I try to avoid going into my smile lines and too much into my T-zone. 
but like around my cheeks and like under my eyes, the eyelids, and just keep going up, forehead down on the chin. And then what I do is I warm it up, warm the remaining up in my hand and just pat. Just pat it all in so I'm extra dewy. And like sometimes if I'm at home just chilling, I'll put on this moisturizer because it's like, especially in the winter time, it's a little bit heavier. And like it's really good for things like this. But overall, I try not to wear this too much because, you know, without SPF. Because I just feel like there's something in it, either like oils or something. And I just don't want to like upset my hyperpigmentation. I don't want to bother her. Just let her do her thing and love my skin. Then I seal everything with a kiss with a little bit more of the thermal water. And normally I would like do some eye patches at this point and just like wake up my under eye and like all of those things. But I'm a little behind on time so we're going to skip that 15 minute process. And I'm going to just go in and do a little and I'll show you when I'm done. This is what I listen to when I, um, you know, listen to my, um, if I'm not listening to, like, diva music, like, City Girls or Beyonce or something, I'm listening to my Jamaican gospel, per, you know, because we love the Lord. I didn't brush my hair in yet, but, um, that's the face. I tried a new Mercy. I went to Sephora this weekend, and I did a, like, a quick haul, and I'm trying the Laura Mercy, but I think it's a little too yellow. And it doesn't look this yellow in person. I think it's just looking this yellow on camera. But I'm gonna go and do an extra exam in the mirror because I think it's a little too yellow. I forgot. I picked up honey and I meant to pick up translucent. Translucent. So it's looking a bit yellow for me. But um, I'm done. I might have to actually add a little bit more bronzer if it's this yellow. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put on some clothes because what time is it? I have to be on at 11. I have 30 minutes. So I'm actually doing pretty good proud of myself okay false alarm i did three no two i did three <laughs> flash tests and yeah we're good also i'm definitely keeping that powder because wow the blurring cheats yeah 100 percent keeping her i'm just pale right now that's what it is I need the summer to hit so I can get a little bit of a tan and I'm also a little ashy but um yeah let me go put some moisturizer on and put some clothes on and take this interview. I wonder what I'm gonna do today. I feel like now that I have a face on, I wanna go like get a drink, but it's also 11 o'clock in the morning. So maybe I should just go get lunch. Let me see who I can call to go to lunch with me. Y'all, I forgot to mention this. I was gonna mention it in my next uh, recipe video. <laughs> Someone commented, oh my God, hold on. Someone commented on my last post. <laughs> And was like, child bearing hips. Like, the way they ate me up with that comment, I'm sorry. Like, first of all, like, they didn't actually eat me up because it's so funny to me. Like, there's a few things that you could never say to me that would affect me. Like, first of all, you can never call me fat. And I'd be like, oh, boo -hoo. Like, I'm not going to care. You can never call me gay and think that it's ever going to, like, affect me. Or call me, like, feminine or anything like that. I'd be like, mm, okay. What else is going on? You know, like, those things don't eat me up. But I'm sorry, that comment, that one definitely drew me back. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> but, like, it was just so funny because I'm like, that is literally the exact thing I say to myself. I'm like, ooh, child. These are some child-bearing heads. You know, so I just thought it was so funny. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to share this with someone. Like, I laughed so hard at that after I was, like, stunned. I was like, ooh, oh, wow. Um... But yeah, I live in these Jenny Bird earrings. Like at this point, I need them in like 50 colors. Um, I'm just gonna wear a green sweater, call it a day. This camera angle is so high, like I feel so short. I don't know, I don't even know. Anyway, let me go finish getting dressed. Okay, I'm seated in my green and that's it, I made myself a hot lemon water, because <laughs> Lord knows I need it. Um, and now I have six minutes. Let's see. 
I have three minutes before my meeting, before my interview. I'm so popular. I have six minutes, but three minutes before my interview. So I'm gonna log on now and oh, I have some orders to pack. Okay, I'll get that done. I'm gonna log on now and I'll holla at y'all after. Okay, y'all, my meeting is over. I had to switch my light because my other light died. Like how fucking embarrassing. Um, God, and this one is so bright. This is why I don't use this one. It's so effing bright. All in all, though, it went really well. Like, let me, I'm just tell y'all this now. I'm gonna tell y'all first. I'm a star. Bitches love me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, people really do love me, and I truly am a star. And I just, like, I have a lot of things coming for me. It's just about being patient until everything comes together. But, of course, to know me is no, I have no patience. So I'm gonna go find something to eat and figure out who's gonna hang out with me today. I'm sorry, y'all, that light was driving me insane. I wanted to just say, like, I don't wanna sound egotistical or anything when I'm like, oh, I'm a star, yeah, 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 you know, like, I'm joking around, but like, you know, there's a certain quality I feel like I possess that is inviting. And there are times when it's just like, when the camera turns on, especially if there's someone else engaged with me, I'm like, wow. I'm so impressed. I'm so, like, wow, just wow, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um, let's see who's gonna hang out with me today, though. I do wanna go get lunch or something somewhere. Good morning, happy Thursday. I am having one of those Mornings, I feel like it's gonna be one of those days where I'm just not in the mood. Like, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm just super moody. Everything is kind of annoying me. And I have no reason to be true. Like, I truly can't identify why I'm so, like, irritable and testy. I got up, I packed some orders, but it's just feeling like... I don't know, like, I feel like I could, like, climb up the mountain and be okay, or I could, like, stay here and an avalanche is just gonna, like, take me back down. And I know that's so descriptive, but for some odd reason, I'm just not in the mood today. I'm not having one of those, like, chipper, happy-go-lucky days that I normally have. You know, it doesn't take a lot for me to be happy, but it also does not take a lot for me to be upset. And today is one of those days where I'm just like, let's try again tomorrow. I'm not, I'm just not feeling today. I'm not gelling it at all. Like, every email, every text is just kind of annoying. Everything I'm seeing on social is kind of annoying. Like, I prayed. Maybe I should read my devotional and just like, do something to kind of lift me a little, but like, I'm just, I'm feeling a little negative right now. And I need to shift the tide. So let's see if things change. I decided, sorry, I look a mess, but it's fine. I decided to get up and like finish editing my video and like, you know, try to like shake it off. So I, one of my friends, DeAndre, posts from this book every day, Jesus Calling. It's a devotional. So I said, you know what? It had been a couple days. Like, the last devotion I read was March 28th. Today is April 6th. So that should tell you enough. God, my hair looks a mess. But I was like, you know what? Let me read this. And literally, God, like, I'm not going to get preachy on you guys because that's not what this is for. But my relationship with God is really what has carried me along so much. Even when I fall or falter or get off course, even have days like today, you know what I'm saying, where I'm feeling a little moody and down and stuff, I can always come to what I know is best. So like the devotional basically is like, the word of today is bring me the sacrifice of Thanksgiving. And basically it's saying like, you get upset when you have things to do and you won't be happy until it's fixed. And that's me. 
Like, I'm not happy until things are right. I'm not happy until, you know, the check clears, the bills paid, the, you know, the vacations booked or the bag is purchased. And it's like, those things are so fleeting, but I'm still, no matter how much I've grown and how aware I can be, I still get in those, in those moods, you know what I'm saying? We're human and like, you know, we want things to just be good. We want it to be good all the time, but that's not realistic and that's not life. And it's just so, it's just so exciting in a way to come and open this book and kind of like have the message that you need to hear right here in front of you so i just wanted to share that with you i did also decide that i am not cooking today i've cooked every day for the past 11 days i'm going to bed side fish and fry and i'm getting oxtail i already ordered it so i'm gonna go pick it up and drop off my orders so yes if you don't have this book Jesus Calling. I'm going to link it in my Amazon storefront so you guys can see and I'll put it in the description. Also, before I go, it, uh, this one is Jesus Calling, but I also double and read Jesus Listening, which is another daily devotional. I just feel like you can never have too much. And like I said, the last one I read was March 28th and it's April 6th. Like, I try to challenge myself to read it every morning, but, you know, I fall off course. I get... You know, I don't get in the mood and stuff. The one thing I do is pray every day, though. Like, before I... My... Years ago, I think it I was still in high school. I went to church. And the message was, give God your first. And it was talking about, give God your first. And it's more than just paying your tithes, but it's also giving God the first of your attention, of your attention. When you wake up in the morning, we have a habit of reaching for our phone first, turning on the TV, thinking of, you know, reaching for coffee or whatever it is before we even thank God for waking us up and opening our eyes in the morning. So that's been a practice that I've done ever since then was like before I even touch my phone, before I even touch the remote or turn off anything, turn on anything, I'm like, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. And then if my alarm is going off, I turn off my alarm and then I get into a deeper prayer and, you know, thank God for the day and all of those things and, you know, bless me so I can be a blessing to others and all of those things, you know, before I even get my day started. So that's my spiel. I'll link both of these in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to read them, you can, you know, I'm not here to get preachy, but, you know, I'm just sharing from me to you. Hi. Um... I have my next meeting. Oh, Lord, I look big. Um, <laughs> I have my next meeting. Remember in the last vlog, if you watched, I told you I was meeting with two potential new managers. I'm definitely going to change this hoodie. It's making my tits look huge. Um, so I have the next meeting with manager number two over Zoom in 13 minutes. So, I took a long nap. I took one of those extensive showers, like one of those showers that like reset everything where you like wash from head to toe, you exfoliate, you know, you come out, you do body oil, lotion, fragrance, like one of those like, you know, not a quick one, like took like an hour kind of shower, like one of those like pre-cleanse, cleanse, oil cleanse, face, you know, everything, like one of those. So, I did that. I put on my essential oils. So my house is diffusing and good scents are coming through just to kind of like pick up the mood and reset. Um, now I'm eating grapes and drinking a blood orange salsa from Trader Joe's. Don't get these, they're disgusting. Like, I cannot wait for those to be done so I can go back. They're actually not disgusting. They're just, the flavors that they're flavored with, they're not really good. Um, I can't wait to go back to LaCroix. I miss a key lime LaCroix so bad. But I'm a drink it. Um, also, I've been, like, obsessed all over again with green grapes, which is funny because they have, like, zero nutritional value. Um, so, yeah. And a ton of sugar. So let me change this hoodie, take this meeting, and I'll report back. Okay, I put on this mock neck. 
I feel much better in this. I feel like I also look a little bit smarter, like take me serious and make me a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, I'll call y'all after. Well, my meeting went exceptional. Okay, I won't say exceptional, but it went good. Um, I don't know, now I'm a little conflicted because I could kind of go in either direction here. Um, on the upside, what the other manager was saying, he was like, is your website updated? Because I see things on your Instagram that I don't see on your website. And I'm like, I have not updated my website since 2021. Like, like when I was in my last management situation, everything just got kind of on autopilot. And sorry if I keep moving a lot, but my ass is hurting. I've been sitting here for like two and a half hours now. Um... In my last management situation, everything became, like, very autopilot. Like, I had a roster clientele. They had a whole portfolio for me on their website. So I was just like, what am I keeping a website for? And I still had my website, but I hadn't updated it in years. So I'm kind of, like, filtering through all of the things I've done and, like, kind of, like, deleting things off of the site. And then I'm like, don't delete it because it's like you want to show your progression. But I'm like, girl this is 15 years coming some things do have to go so we'll see i'm also really hungry i want to make i made some chicken wings last night which will be on tiktok some sweet chili wings and i have more chicken wings that i'm about to like make them again they oh <coughs> oh i'm about to make them again because they were bussing so i'm trying to hurry this up so i can go cook dinner i mean it's 8 o'clock, so I won't be eating till 9, but I took a nap today, so whatever. It's 9.18. Finally about to eat. I made these wings yesterday, which by the time this comes out, those should be posted already. So they were so good. I made them again, and I'm eating Momofuku noodles. Mmm. With it. So hungry. Bomb. <clears throat> these sweet chili wings. Mm. Ah! It's below my shirt. Oh well. I'm about to sit down and watch Ultimate Girls Trip. I don't know. I know everyone hates Giselle, but there is some sort of appeal that she has for me. The same appeal that Kenya has, where it's just like. I like a villain who's a villain. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy quality programming, which means someone's gonna have to be the villain. Like, not everyone can be a crying Candace or a lying Karen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need a bad guy. I do wish she would have a better storyline and, you know, allegedly she's very private with her love life, which maybe I could agree to. So, whatever, but like, you know, I enjoy her. I enjoy this. I enjoy the bullshit that she brings. And I love the alliance between her and Portia. They they know how to produce a show. Like, you would think Giselle has been on this show for, you know, on reality TV for 12 seasons straight. Like, she knows how to move the story forward, ask the questions. Because if it were up to the Miami girls or the Salt Lake City girls or even Candace, we would just be seeing like, oh my god, I love your hair. Like, I love it. You know, like, they know how to, like do the things and say the things and like you know they self-produce i enjoy what they bring to the show so i'm gonna go watch that and then i'm going to bed so i'll talk to y'all tomorrow remember when i said i was going to bed well that didn't exactly happen i somehow ended up going out so i'm just oh lord i'm just getting home I'm gonna wash my face and actually go to bed now. I have to pee so bad. And I am a little drunk. Good night, y'all. I really love, good morning, sorry. Good morning, good morning, happy Friday. We made it through another week, per. Um, I really love my new era of drinking where it's so limited. Um, I kind of sprung up out of the bed this morning. I only had two am i focused oh god i hope i'm focused i don't know if i should wear this hat or just wear my hair oh god i look a mess anyway um 
I had only two tequila and Red Bulls. And I was really proud of myself. Well, actually, my new drink, my new drink is tequila on Reposado, tequila Reposado on the rocks, and then Red Bull in the other hand. So, like, if I have my fan, obviously I'll mix it, but if I don't have my fan, I keep a little handheld fan when I go out. If I don't have my fan, then I'll have one in one hand, one in the other, and just, like, little taps of Red Bull and then drink and then more Red Bull to keep me through the night. Um, I'm about to go pack orders and then I'm going back to the Japanese market to get more of that shrimp tempura. And yeah, I, pray, I think I'm just gonna get the shrimp tempura. The dumplings were good, they weren't great. So I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase them. Um, and then I'm gonna have lunch at Japan Village. Also, I'm so happy. I forgot I had this little vintage Prada bag. So I'm bringing her out today. She's so cute. Like, I love all of the little colors. It's like a little nylon patchwork. It has like navy blue and like a blush. And then this is kind of like a rose kind of, I don't know if you can see how like, you know how nylon is shimmery. I love this bag so much. Um, So I'm wearing that little, I'm, I broke her out today. And kind of just keeping it really chill with my outfit. Um, just these little Jordans, little cargo pant, white tee, and navy blue jacket. You know, ooh, bloat. I haven't even eaten anything, my God. Anyway, my mom always tells me, she's like, you love big clothes, you're big already, you love big clothes on top of it. But I'm just like, girl, I like to be comfortable. I just don't feel like it's necessary for me to be in like, skin tight clothes all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm about to like, take some orders, and then this. Don't worry about that random pot there. It got delivered to me and it's broken. So that's why she's there and not in the cabinets. I'm waiting for a replacement. Anyway, I'll vlog a little bit from Japan Village and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, it is a fucking zoo in here, but the chicken karagi, or how the hell you say it, rice bowl is bomb. I got a miso soup with extra scallions, yum. And then I love these little spicy, Jesus, spicy salmon hand roll, yeah. Okay, lunch. What's the best angle here? That's cute. Um, lunch was fab. I love Japan Village. Um, unfortunately, Sunshine Mart is already sold out of the shrimp tempura that I really wanted. That's really what I wanted the most, like the shrimp tempura. I haven't gotten through all the noodles yet. And like, to be honest, I don't have space in my fridge for any more groceries right now. Like I need to cook a little bit more, get some of the things out of my, I keep running into potholes and it's ridiculous, but I need to get some of the things out of my fridge. But anyway, so when we went out last night, I did a little something to my sister, and I'm just kidding, I didn't do anything. Um, but I wanna hang out, so I'm gonna go stop at Popeyes, cause I know Sean loves him a little Popeyes. I'm gonna buy him some Popeyes, and I'm gonna buy him the strawberry biscuits so he can try them, and hang out with him, cause I have nothing to do today. All of my work is done, all of my emails are sent and responded to, which I'm very proud of. Like my email count right now is under a thousand. I think it's at like 340 something, which those are just like other things that I need to get to, but like they're not time sensitive. Um, but like the time sensitive stuff has all been caught up on. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop at Popeyes right now and get him the strawberry biscuits and maybe a two piece. Um, oh, he loves the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, two piece of mashed potatoes and gravy and the strawberry biscuits. And then, I'm just gonna go hang out and have a little diva time. So yeah, fun day ahead. Also, I'm just so proud of myself. Like, all of my orders are shipped. All, like, I, I really am just so proud. Like, I'm such a proud mother of self. <laughs> No, I really am. I'm killing it, bitch. You doing a good job, bitch. You doing a good job, bitch. You doing a good job. You know, if I don't affirm myself, who will? <sighs> I have a little too much energy, and I really need a Diet Coke. All right, y'all, I'm gonna call y'all back.
Hi, how are you? Hey. I'm good. May I have a two-piece dark uh, leg and thigh um, with mashed potatoes and gravy? Um, and may I have a Diet Coke with that? Diet uh, Coke? You want a small, medium, large? May I have a medium Diet Coke with that, please? Maybe else. And then may I just have two of the strawberry biscuits? Two strawberry biscuits, no problem, maybe else. That's all. Maybe 1544 comes to win. Thank you. You know, Popeyes, I'm gonna give Popeyes a pass sometimes, but I just feel like fast food is a little too pricey for what it is these days. I feel like everything's a little too expensive for what it is these days, but I'm just letting, I look like I have no neck right now whatever um whatever i'm just letting life do its thing but i do feel like things are just a little bit higher priced than they should be like at no given point should you go to mcdonald's and spend like over 20 dollars. like mcdonald's should be like five dollars you know like back in the days fast food was also cheap but fast food being being someone who can go to a fast food restaurant and one meal is $15 or $30. Like, I'm like, girl, I can get a decent appetizer at a restaurant for that. Like, a decent tartare for $15. I mean, granted, you're not getting the same amount of food, so I guess... I don't know why I went on this rant. Y'all, hang up on me. It's so funny. I used to rinse... When this album first came out, I rinsed this album for, like... I don't want, I don't even know, like maybe a month straight. Like I've rinsed this album, nothing else. Like wasn't playing nothing else. But I had to give it a break. Cause like, you know when you sit with an album too long, you start to get tired of it. Or like, you're like scared to get tired of it. Like that's how I am. That's how I was with SOS. But like now I just put it back in rotation. Eating. I'm sorry, Solana. Yeah, she did that. Also, what I just put back in rotation too, um, whatchamacallit? Um, what did I just put back in rotation? No, I just took it out of rotation. I just took Miley out of rotation because, I'm sorry, Hannah Montana, yeah, she put her whole country foot in that album. You hear me? So I had to, I had to pull her out of rotation because I don't want to get tired of that album. Like, I'm sorry, like, the only song I skip on that album is Wonder Woman, like, she could have left that in the drive. But the rest of them songs, cleared it. Cle like, that's quality. Oh, my God. I hate coming to Industry City with all these potholes. Um, that is quality pop music. Like, quality. You hear me? Yeah, Hannah did that one. Um, yeah, that's really what I'm listening to these days. Honestly, you know what I need to put back in rotation, but I'm waiting until the summertime to put it back in rotation, like when the weather gets a little bit warmer outside, just because it reminds me of last summer so much, re uh, Renaissance. And like, it's really true what the girls say. The album does hit different. Like, I've listened to it like a couple times recently, but like, it's not back in heavy rotation, but the album really does hit just a little bit different when you have concert tickets, because you're like, wait, I'm about to hear you, Nick live uh but yeah i can't wait for the concerts i'm like i love music so much like i love music so much so anyway let me get back to my album i just thought i'd share this is literally the best song on the album is it too late for us no scared of love moving so close we can buy guys and that i want more no solana she tore down this Oh my god, this song is so good. I was born to roll. I gotta know. Is it bad that I want more? Is it too late for us? We both scared to us. Moving so close, we come out. Okay, we're at Sean's. We're watching. He's eating bacon. He should be eating the biscuit and the chicken that I just bought for him, but he wanna eat bacon. Okay. We're watching, um, Sean is two weeks behind on girls trip, so I'm re-watching this bullshit, but I do not want to be in my house. All right. First impressions, go. <laughs> he microwaved it. <laughs> you like it for real? Mm -hmm. It's still that dry ass biscuit. <laughs> this one 
has a little sweetness to it. <laughs> okay. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. I'm making a hot lemon water. Um, happy Saturday. It is 11 and I have a meeting with my branding team for dinner plus. Sorry, I'm trying to also make this lemon water because the meeting is at 11 and it's 11.02 so I'm a little late. Um, but I have a meeting with the branding team. I'm trying to come up with some stuff, final stages of some relaunch stuff, not relaunch, but like rebranding for dinner plus. I just feel like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm fine, but I feel like this week has really pushed and pulled me just with like little things and stuff. Like when I tell you I'm truly 110% in the era where I'm just like, I just want to get paid to do me. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to do a, a thing. Like I enjoy working and all of that but like to be truly brutally 110 percent honest i want everything to be done on my own accord like i don't want to have to work because i need money for a project i want to work because i'm ex you know like i'm like oh, i just want to do this like strictly just passion not payment <laughs> But of course I'm on the payment. I don't think that makes sense. But if you get me, you get what I'm saying. It's like, I just, I don't want to work because I have to. I want to work because I want to. That makes sense. So I'm about to log on to this meeting. I am excited though about what is coming for Dinner Plus and just kind of like all of those little things. Super thrilled about that. Um, so yeah. We shall see. I have no plans today, and to be honest, I'm gonna keep it that way. I need like a day to just be in my house with no, I mean, I do have to drop off some orders before the post office closes at one, so I gotta do that. But other than that, I'm keeping it very light today. And then tomorrow's Easter, so I have to go see my mom, which I'm glad to do, but I'm not glad about what we're going to do. Like, I mean, I'm fine with it, but like, we're going to a distant cousin's or my mom's cousin's house. And like, I kind of just want to like chill at home. Like, I don't want to have to go and like, I haven't seen this relative in like at least 12 years. So I'm just like, I don't want to have to do the whole catching up thing. And oh, how have you been? How's this? How's that? Like, yeah. I'm just not at all excited about that. And then, of course, my mom has me cooking something to bring. And I'm just like, when did this become, like, work? Like, I just want, I just want to relax. Like, it's always something. But anyway, I'll call y'all back. My meeting is complete. To be honest, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I ended up going out last night, literally, for 20 minutes. It took me 40 minutes to get to the city. 40 minutes to get back home and I spent 20 whole minutes literally 20 counted on your finger 20 minutes well you can you only have 10 fingers but whatever I spent 20 minutes in the club and left I hate wasting my time I hate wasting my time more than anything in the world because I could have stayed home I should have stayed home but of course, I'm always itching to scrap. I'm always itching to go out thinking I'm gonna have a, a brand, a, you know, a good time. But it's so funny. One of the managers I was meeting with, he said a very key thing to me. He was like, insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. So clearly I'm insane. Um, I'm about to go ship some orders and I'm staying in my comfortable clothes all day today i'm going to ball up on my couch and i'm going to watch sex in the city for the remainder of the day and i want to eat something very naughty and bad like mcdonald's 
Oh, McDonald's does sound really good. Like I want a fish fillet, but I want chicken nuggets, large fries, electric diet coke. Mm. I'm doing it. And that's it. That's it. I don't want to do a thing today. I don't want to hear from nobody. I'm putting my phone on Do Not Disturb and I'm watching TV. That's it. So I'm gonna holla at y'all tomorrow. Happy Easter. As mentioned, I've got my electric diet coke, my chicken nuggets, fish fillet with lettuce, tomato, and pickle, small fries, hot mustard, honey mustard, my water, sex in the city on the tube, okay. and both of my phones are about to go on do not disturb, period. Y'all, you know what the issue is with me? I cannot sit fucking still. That's my problem. I cannot seem to sit still. Remember, I was supposed to be on the couch watching Sex and the City all day. That quickly changed. I ended up catching up on New Jersey Housewives. I was five episodes behind. Tumultuous. I mean, rose my blood pressure up to the sky. Um, raised. Rose is not the word I was supposed to use. Raised. Raised my blood pressure? Whatever. Um, that's not what we're here for. Anyway, I'm making dinner. I decided I have one more bag of those um of those brands you know fillets from Trader Joe's I have one more bag so I said you know what fuck it we're doing it so I'm making brown stew Branzino that'll be on TikTok I promise I'm gonna do a long form again for YouTube it's just right now I have to really focus on TikTok and you'll understand more soon but yes Brown Stew Branzino, I'll come back and show you when I'm done. Okay, I'm finally done. Of course I had a bite, you know, for TikTok, but this is the Brown Stew Fish. Mmm, it looks so good. It tastes even better. This recipe will be on TikTok. Hey guys, coming to you with an edit. Um, <clears throat> so, the brown stew brands, you know, will not be on TikTok, and I'm so sorry I sound congested and I need a haircut. Um, but my allergies are, like, literally hanging me upside down by my ankles and, like, punching me in the head. Um, I filmed the brown stew... <sighs> the brown stew branzino on my camera and as much as i love this camera i actually despise this camera equally at the same time it's like it's like so good and so bad all at the same time like the quality is great and like this is my first like really professional camera and i didn't do much research before purchasing it but um i did do a little bit of research like I, let me give myself some credit i did do a little bit of research but like i probably should have just sprung for a more expensive camera i went with an option that felt like i could get like 4k quality and stuff like that but like there were things that i ignored like the focusing matter and i thought oh that's not going to be a problem because as long as it can focus on my face it'll be fine and like granted this camera is great for like when i do get ready with me or like filming makeup videos but the camera overheats very quickly so it's not good for cooking videos and then because it doesn't focus like if a splatter of oil comes up, it'll focus on the splatter of oil and then go out of focus. So, of course, the video itself was a fucking disaster. Like, I tried so hard. I tried so hard to make that video work. So, unfortunately, it didn't work, which means I had to scrap the Brown Stew Branzino video. But, um, I will try to make it again and film it on my phone, which is normally what I do is I film on one of my phones. And... <laughs> It'll come out great, and then I will post it at a later date. But right now, the Brown Stew Brands, you know, will not be on TikTok. It will not be on Reels. It's it's in the trash. So, yes, that recipe will be on TikTok. I'm so hot and tired. I need to cool down, and my camera's dying, so I'm going to put it on the charger. And now I'm actually going to watch Sex in the City and chill. So, I'll holla at y'all tomorrow, per. I forgot to mention y'all I went to Bedside Fish and Fry this week and the oxtail was so hard and tough now what I did was I put this oxtail in a little bit of beef broth mm, and cooked it down with a little bit of ketchup and yard spice by dinner plus link in bio and let me tell you she is falling off of the bone juicy delicious mm. one thing's for sure two things for certain I can always save something. And let me tell you, I saved these oxes because they was pretty much trash. 
Good morning. Um, I woke up so late. First of all, I already said happy Easter yesterday, but happy belated Easter again. I didn't even record anything yesterday because I woke up late. I had to cook. We went to the housewarming. Um, then I came home and my, I don't know if like I pulled my back or something, but like I couldn't, I like literally I was walking like this. I could not walk. I could not stand up straight. Sorry, my group chat is also going off right now. Um, happy Monday. I am going to, I have two jobs this week, two styling jobs this week. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, oddly, Dinner Plus has been taking so much time, I haven't been able to, like, take on any styling jobs. But, like, now that, like, I've gotten, like, I've batched some content for Dinner Plus, I have the sale going on right now. So, like, you know, people are buying kind of the same things over and over. So, like, I can pre-pack orders and stuff. I have a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more time to, like, say, okay, let me do this job, let me do that job. You know, fatten up the coin purse for the season. You know, summer's coming and I will be outside. So... <laughs> I need to fan up the horn purse. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I have two styling jobs this week. One is in LA and one is in New York. So like, I'm working one remotely, one physically here in New York. Um, so I'm gonna go out and like, have a meeting. I am, I, I don't even care, I'm doing it. I'm craving McDonald's again. But I promised myself, I was like, I'm gonna have McDonald's now. But I'm not going to have McDonald's again for, like, months. Like, because, you know, it takes 21 days to break a bad habit. And I'm starting to, like, see the cycle beginning. And I'm just like, bitch, we were doing so good. Like, bitch, she was doing a good job. You was doing a good job. And now you're, like, trying to go backwards. So I was like, let's just dip the toe in one more time. But we're going to be consistent. I'm going to cook dinner tonight. I'm going to make, like, a really balanced dinner or something. I don't know, like, maybe, like, some kind of, like, good chopped salad. Something, like, veggie-heavy protein whatever we'll figure that out um but yeah just want to get like i don't know why i have this hoodie on still get back on top of my game and i have some work to do this week and then i'm also going to the lgbtq center dinner gala ask me if i have something to wear i don't so i'm also going to try to figure that out and it's going to be a crazy busy week but i'm excited so i'm about to go ship some orders get my mcdonald's go to my meeting and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes me y'all know one thing's for sure Ooh, two things for certain when it comes to me i always keep it a stack 75 and i just made this whole healthy meal hold on i just made oh jesus it's like a maze in my office. Um, it's amazing here because I have a another rack set up because I'm working this week. Um, excuse me. Y'all know I keep it a stack 75 with y'all at all times. I just made this whole healthy meal, you know, high fiber, low carb. Well, low-ish carbs. I use brown rice, but low enough carbs. Cucumbers, spinach, avocado, ground turkey, brown rice, yada yada, the whole thing. And like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but I'm just so not in the mood for anything healthy right now. Like, I made it, I'm gonna post it on TikTok, but I'm just like, like, girl, no. I want a cocktail and a 10-piece fried hard. So... Sean wanted to go get a drink. <laughs> so I'm going to get a drink and I'm going to get my 10 piece fried hard. <laughs> like, I'm just not in the mood for healthy food right now. And I'm not gonna justify that. I want what I want. And I'm gonna get what I want. Period. I told y'all I wanted my wings. I got my wings. And I got a salad so I could be fake healthy. Period. <laughs> hey y'all. Sorry, my face is so itchy. My allergies are starting to whip my ass for the season. Like, it's gotten warm in New York. So, you know, pollen season, which is also why I'm at the car wash right now. I almost I just ran into a pothole, Jesus, hold on. Um, I'm at the car wash now. My car is covered in like green dust, which obviously is pollen and I'm very allergic to pollen, which is why my face is so itchy and my sinuses are screwed. Um, I just got my hair cut. I have that gala thing tomorrow, and 
I still haven't really figured out what I want to wear. Um, I do have this jacket from uh, Willie Chavaria, Chavaria or something. So I'm going to try that later and see if I can create a look with that. So, yeah. I just love in New York when the weather is getting nice, even though my allergies hang me upside down. I love seeing the um, Mr. Softy truck. Like, that's like the sign in New York. That's, what, that's when you know, like, summer's approaching. When you start to hear that little chime and you see that truck coming around, going through the neighborhoods, you're like, all right, it's time, you know? I'm defrosting. And as I defrost, my legs spread. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Now that I'm back home, I'm having a little snack. I'm eating green grapes. Like I told you, I've been obsessed over green grapes all of a sudden. And I'm craving a little bit of toast with cream cheese and strawberry preserves. Don't even judge. Um, I feel like now is a perfect time to try on this jacket. They're doing construction upstairs. Look at all these shoes on my counter. And I have two more packages to open. Listen, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. I might have taken a little hiatus, you know, taking a little time, taking a little break to focus on Dinner Plus. But when I come to play, I come to play. Period. So, here's the coat. It's really cute. I want you guys to get into the color. It's like a smoky, almost brown satin. It's really long on me, which I kind of love. But um, I don't know if I want to go like super sleek and do like turtleneck black trouser, black shoe. Or if I want to do black trouser, black shoe, white button up, black tie, and give kind of Valentino. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm going to try on both options and then I'll let the Lord decide. I will say one thing though. I am praying to God because like I told you, I have a job on Thursday. My job in LA is done, period. But my next job is here <clears throat> in New York and I'm praying to God like the client's team doesn't reach out and is like oh can we have a fitting tomorrow night because I'm I I can't I have this event to go to red carpet starts at 6 30 so and it ends at 10 and I'm like I need to glam before I go Oh, my dryer's going, which means I'm gonna have to start glam at, <clears throat> what, 4, 3.30, to get myself dressing time, to film a get ready with me, and, oh, my toast is burning, Jesus, to film a get ready with me, and be on the way during traffic hour, so I'm like, I really won't have time to fit her tomorrow, and so I'm just hoping they're like, Oh, we can do everything before, you know, the event, the interview, the performance on Thursday. <laughs> because I'm like, if they try that, I'm just, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm just like, I physically can't do it. I've got my snack and my water. I'm going to have one bite and then try some clothes on. Mmm. 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 Maybe two bites. Mm. This is so good. Okay. Let's try some clothes on. Okay. I'm finally in something. I'm trying these brown trousers first. Um, to be, don't mind this, I'm not done. But to be brutally and 110% honest with you, I hate dress clothing. I hate wearing dress clothing. I just feel like my body is not built for dress clothes. Like, I'm meant to be in hot girl clothing at all times. You know, 
a good four-way stretch piece. I got a lot of I got a lot of hips. I got a lot of ass. I'm just I'm built a little different. So let me go fix up this tie and come right back. Okay. So I need to back all the way up. This coat is extremely, extremely long. I hope you guys can see me. This coat is so long. Um, I don't know, I hate, I hate dress clothing. I really hate dress clothes. Like, I just feel like it's just not my vibe. It's not who I am. This coat is so fab, but it's very long. Um, personally, I hate the brown trouser. <sighs> I hope you guys can see me. Let me, maybe if I tilt down a little bit and back up um I hate the brown I don't know if you guys can see me I hope you can I don't like the brown so I'm gonna try the black on and obviously I'll do a couple tricks you know when I'm actually getting ready you know a couple underpinnings and stuff but listen this is why I say this is the reason why I say what I say. Having a stylist really is a rich bitch sport because as I was tying this tie and, you know, fussing with the buttons and all, I'm just like, oh, I would love to just stand and have someone do this for me. Like, just dress me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd pay the money for it, but <laughs> I'm not a rich bitch just yet. Um, so yeah, let me try on the black trouser and then I'll come back. Okay, so like I said, because I didn't love the brown, I tried on black. Um, I'm stepping all the way back so you can see. So these ones, they do come a little bit higher on the waist. Hold on. I feel like I'm not in the right position. Let me just point it down and step right here. Ah! This, I'm gonna have to hold this jacket out like this all night. Um, anyway, so they come a little higher on the waist, but I do like how they hit on the floor. They're a little bit wide in the leg. So I'm gonna try on another pair of black ones and come back. Okay. I'm actually, like, happy with it. I am gonna have to fuss with this tie, but I'm probably just gonna cheat it and double stick tape her down because she's really pissing me the hell off. Hold on. So move this back so y'all can, like, really get into it. Um, I can't walk backwards because I'll still step on the jacket, but walking forward, I don't have a problem as much. And then let me pan down. So one thing I will say, don't worry. Just imagine this with, you know, a fully beat face, Spanx, you know, all the all the tricks. And then also I'm gonna probably do glasses. I just feel like, glasses always feel like a period on my outfit. Like it's just like, and we're done, you know? Um, but let me pan down. So like what I like to, can you see? Where am I? Okay, there I am. What I like is that you kind of see a little break. My feet won't be ashy either. <laughs> Don't judge me, my feet won't be ashy. But like you see a little break with the shoe. So it gives you a moment to appreciate the shoe. I'm gonna take these to the cleaners so they can like press them and make them like perfect. And yeah, we're done, we did it. We did it and I'm not even gonna try on the turtleneck and all that other stuff like this is it. Valentino Jr. period. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right y'all, bye. I just got home from a Taco Tuesday. Um, I had a great time. I realized that like right here on my skin is starting to get like these red irritated bumps. I'm a little drunk as well. Um, but I realized that right here is getting these red irritated bumps because I've been over exfoliating. So I'm going to take the next two days off of exfoliating. Um, I also realized that the LGBTQ event that I'm supposed to go to is not tomorrow. But Thursday, I have been skipping past this week. It's only Tuesday. Meaning tomorrow's Wednesday, not Thursday. Um, I've also realized that, granted, it's only Tuesday, but I've gone out to eat and have drinks Sunday, Monday. No, Sunday I didn't. I went to Easter. Sunday was Easter. So just yesterday and today and again tomorrow. I'm meeting a friend for dinner tomorrow. I'm super excited. Some of you might know her. She is the host of Love Island, Maya Jama. It's my sis, so I'm gonna have dinner tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. I had drinks with my best friend Vandy tonight, and it's so funny, we touched on a topic. 
there's a boy texting me. I just want to make sure you guys couldn't see. I have to make sure I watch that. Anyway, um, I went out to dinner with my best friend, Mandy, tonight. We went to Taco Tuesday. And we had a conversation. Basically, I'm back in my leave men where they stand era. I just feel like if I am constantly being disappointed by the same person, it's now my fault. It's not them because they are consistent. It's now my fault. It's my fault for expecting different results. It's my fault for expecting them to be anything other than what they are. So, yeah. I'm taking accountability for putting myself in the line of fire like that and kind of accepting less than I deserve. And really and truly, I'm good on a dusty. I want to be where the bosses reside. Okay? Because I am what? Exactly. Like, I need to be with a me or greater. And I think I've kind of let that fall to the wayside. Like, I think I'm like, oh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm someone who have, has been good at falling for potential versus reality. Now I'm focusing on the reality. And the reality of the situation is dusty. You're out of here. You're out of it. So, that's my life currently. I'm super excited to watch... New Jersey Housewives. And then I'm gonna take it down and go to bed. Wow, my eyes. I'm telling you, anytime I drink, it shows in my face. Like, I cannot hide when I drink. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Y'all, in all seriousness, I'm coming to you asking you to lift me up in prayer because the spirit of Milk Bar has landed on me. But let me show you. Okay. So it's this cereal milk ice cream. But then you get the cereal crunch with it. This is so dangerous. This is my third day. Third day having this. And oh, I need I need your prayers. But to be honest, this will last me about a day or two. Look at this. It's so gorgeous and delicious. And I eat it in this cute little bowl, you know, for portion control. It's just like a nice small helping. But it's so delicious. Good morning. I'm watching my favorite yeah, TikToker. You know, She's so store. fucking funny. Shopping, What's her? Rashonda? I love her. She's like every... Also, my kettle is going. I'm making my lemon water, my hot lemon water. I love her though. Like, she's always like, let's check the board. You are not a blah, 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 but you keep checking us, blah, blah, blah. And to that, I say thank you. I love her so much. She makes me smile so hard. Like, she's the funniest person on TikTok, in my opinion. Um, yes, anyway. So I'm making my hot lemon water. I realized because I had everything plan to like have a fitting today and thinking I was going to the gala the LGBT gala today like I kind of have a free day and I'm okay with that I want to finally give love is blind a fair shot knowing me though I'm gonna find something else to fill up my day like I have a couple orders to pack and ship which I'll do but that is gonna take me maybe an hour and a half two hours um but yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to try to catch up on Love is Blind. I'm going to make my breakfast. I'm going to have oatmeal with blueberries and granola. I'm really excited about that. I haven't had oatmeal in so long, and I'm having, like, this odd craving for oatmeal. So, kind of excited about that. And I'm going to make brown stew chicken wings. Because I want brown stew chicken, but I don't want to go to the grocery store. So, I'm going to make brown stew chicken wings. So, yeah. Um... That's all that's going on so far. I'll check back in if anything riveting happens. Okay, woo! Lord, that was not good. Um, I decided to make some eggs, and then I forgot that I bought this honeycomb last summer out east. And I just added a little dollop 
to my oatmeal. Oops. So good. And before you start, honeycomb does not expire. So, don't worry. But I'm so excited about this honeycomb. I bought it because I went to a dinner party once at my friend Raquel's house and she's like uber rich. And like she had like real honeycomb on her charcuterie board and I was like, where the fuck does one find honeycomb? And then I went out to the farms last summer out east by my mom. Like I went out to like, you know, the farms with all the farmers market all of the farmers markets and stuff and they had honeycomb and I bought some and the lady was like, oh, you can store this in your fridge, you can cut it up into cubes and put it in the freezer and like add it to hot things and stuff. And I was like, okay. I bought it and never got around to it. And then I just saw it in the back of my fridge and I was like, oh my God, can I still use this? And I looked online and honeycomb doesn't expire. Like honey and honeycomb never expire. So I'm like, oh, perfect. So I just scooped off a little bit and put it in my oatmeal, <laughs> game changer. I'll be doing this every day. So, yeah. I'm excited. Also, to clarify, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, or maybe you weren't, why I was boiling four eggs. Well, I've planned out my meals for the day. I'm very excited. So, oatmeal, blueberries, granola right now. I'm going to have one egg after with my hot lemon water while I pack orders. Then I'm gonna go ship orders come home, watch Love is Blind. I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to have my tunicado for lunch, which obviously requires an egg. Um, and then I'm gonna keep the other two eggs in the fridge because now I'm trying to like use those as a snack. No, I normally do. Like I'll eat it with like one egg, um, you know, some fruit, like maybe some grapes, a little bit of blueberries and stuff, you know, just like a not charcuterie. Um, I don't know, it's a weird snack that I love. And it's gonna sound even more odd, but I like the egg cold with no salt. Judge me if you want. Um, and then, I'm going to make brown stew chicken wings for dinner. But now I'm trying to think if I should do like, if I should like fry them and then cook them down in the brown stew sauce. Like how like in Jamaica we make like fried chicken and then we cook it down like a fried chicken dinner, is what we call it. Um, or if I should just brown stew them without frying them. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. Listen, I am so poorly dressed. I have on a hoodie, Uggs, sweats, like I'm in the biggest clothes and it's 82 degrees, mind you. Listen, if you've been to New York, if you're from New York, you already know when this, when the leche coco lady come out, you know, or the little man, the little poppy, when he come out with this, you know it's the season. Bitch, I've been tearing this up. I get half cherry, half coconut. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Hey, guys. Um, so, I just finished cooking. I made the brown stew chicken wings. I didn't fry them. I just made them regular. Um, brown stew chicken wings, and then I made pumpkin seasoned rice. So both of those will go live on, I'm so exhausted. Both of those will go live on socials next week, likely. Yeah, probably next week. Um, I'm about to go and pack for my fitting. My fitting is tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we are doing from 10 to 12 so that I can come home. And the plan is I want to record a, I want to record two get ready with me's. So a makeup get ready with me. I've never done makeup on camera ever. Um, a makeup get ready with me and then a like regular just like get dressed with me kind of thing. So that's the plan. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that is the goal is to do that after my fitting come home and start glamming by like two so that I have enough time to film and get dressed and be in a car because red carpet starts at 6.30. So that's the plan. Let's hope that works out. So I'm gonna pack for my fitting now and then I'm really going to try to finally chill. Like it's 7.30, I wanna be done packing by like 
8 to 8.15, get in the shower, put my comfy clothes on, as if I'm not in comfy clothes right now, but put clean comfy clothes on and relax because I have to wake up early. In fact, let me set my alarm now for 8 a.m. So yeah, I will talk to you later, if not tomorrow. Do you like my British accent? I'm working on it, but we're getting there. <laughs> okay, it's time for me to go. Bye. Jesus, every time I start the vlog, that's when the kettle wants to boil up. Um, I'm making a hot lemon water. My allergies ripped me to shreds last night. I am barely standing. Like, I am so tired. I'm about to head to this fitting. Um, and of course, there is no window to nap today. Okay, so since I come up from the fitting, I'm gonna start applying my face. So, as soon as I come home from this fitting, I'm gonna start applying my face. So there's no window to nap today. I'm just gonna make my hot lemon water, go knock out this fitting, and come home. But when I tell you, my allergies hung me upside down all night last night. Like, literally, the sneezing, the, the throat scratching. I'm like, <coughs> like, it's so ugly. And I'm just like, we've had like a couple, and when I say a couple, I mean like three warm days in New York. And all of a sudden, it's just like the pollen count has like shot right up. And who's affected? Me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have my hot lemon water and then head to this fitting. And then come home and get started on getting ready. Um, also, like... I'm trying this new exfoliant and I clearly see that my skin does not like her or that I may have ex over exfoliated because like I have like one, two, three little bumps coming in. I'm just like, listen, girl, this week is not your week. This week is not the week for you to debut of all times. So whatever. But yeah, I will hit y'all later. Okay, my fitting is complete. At this point, I am pretty certain that I hate myself because why am I wearing a hoodie? Why am I wearing a hoodie? And this is 80 something degrees. Like, bitch, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Anyway, I am going to get my car and I have so much time now. I thought I was gonna be done at like one o'clock. It's like 11, so I'm just gonna head home make a tuna cotto sandwich finally, and then start my glam. Y'all, look at me. I'm a sweated hog. Oh my God. I just got to my car, I stopped at Starbucks. I, I got the chai latte, but I got it iced. Oh my God. Mm. So good. I also got a bottle of water just in case. The latte was nasty. And my egg protein box. I love this box so much. And now I'm about to head home. Whew, look at me, a sweated hog, Jesus. Okay, we just made it. Hi. Thank you. We're here. She's here too. Um, we're trying to find our table. Oh my God, bitch. It was so hot on that carpet. Like, I've never been more nervous in my life. I felt like a child. Summer of 2013 in United States versus Windsor, the Supreme Court ruled Doma to be unconstitutional. As a double. What's up, y'all? I'm home from the gala. The gala. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the gala was cute. I'm about to take this face off. First and foremost, I'm telling you, I love these cotton rounds from Walgreens. 10 out of 10. So, the gala was cute. Nice and water. Um, I'm sorry I didn't come back to y'all sooner, but I had to come home and 
I filmed a get ready with me. I filmed two get ready with me's actually. A makeup one and then a a makeup one and then a um like an outfit one. Um so those should be up on TikTok and Instagram this week. Well, by the time this vlog comes out, those should be up. So, yeah, the gala was cute. I guess what we can say is I'm not really a gallerie. I'm just kidding. Gala was cute. I loved all of, you know, what the community, what the LGBTQ Center stands for, what they're doing for the community, especially LGBTQ youth, giving them a safe space. I love, this is their 40th anniversary, so I love also seeing so many people who were younger and um, were a part of, you know, when they were younger had uh, found solace and refuge at the center and then are still a part of it have grown with the center you know it, it was just such a like heartwarming experience and so good to see it was long though oh my god it was long till my ass was on fire in them chairs i mean i don't even know how celebrities be at the you know the oscars and all of that child it ain't for me i'm my attention span is quite limited but you know we working on it okay my bad my camera was dying but like i told you i can charge it and film um i would love to leave a review about this camera because i said last week just based on like the film quality that it is some of the best money i've ever spent which is true and not true because even though the filming quality and the like you know the product that you get is really great it comes with a host of headaches first of all the camera overheats so quickly and so easily if you film with lights and film in 4k and obviously i want the best quality and the best lighting so why wouldn't i want that second of all it doesn't autofocus <laughs> so it's like it'll be focused on me if i were to put this on the screen and need it to focus on that it's still focused on my face it doesn't focus here which is so dumb. Um, girl, she overheats. She dies so quickly. I charged it yesterday and I filmed literally two videos, which will get cropped down to under two minutes dying already. I'm just like, girl, like, you're a lot. Like, you're a lot. But anyway, so I'm just using the micellar water to get off the base, like, surface makeup. And then I go in with this. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean. I love this stuff so much. Let's wash my hands really quick. And a little of this goes a long way. I just do a little scoop, probably about that much. Just get it in my palm, warm it up, and then it'll melt down into an oil. And then just use that to like cleanse away. So I can get up into the hairline, under the eyes, around the eyes, the brows, from the nose, down the neck, into the beard, everywhere, the ears, everything. Just give myself a little massage with it too. Cause my skin gets so slippery with it on. So it's a good time to massage. And just get that off. And then I get my hands wet. And then wet my face. And it should become milky. It should be very milky. And that is breaking down the additional product that's on the face. Which shouldn't be a lot because I did three cleanses of micellar water and as it breaks down you'll get more and more milky see we'll get more and more milky and break down some more and give us fresh skin but yeah the gala was cute it was good to be in a room full of us okay now onto wet skin Tatcha, the deep cleanse. 
an Old Faithful. A little of this goes a long way, diamond size amount. And just lift up anything else. I mean, at this point my skin is clean, but I just, I don't feel right if I don't cleanse, like with an actual cleanser. So, yeah. Um, but yes, like I was saying, the gala was really nice. Um, food was okay. They started with a salad. It was like beets and asparagus and like feta cheese. I skipped that. Um, then for the entree, it was everybody, they were offering everyone like these like huge fucking pieces of steak. I mean, I I was like, wow, that's like 24 ounces. Like, that was huge. But like by special request, you could get fish. So of course, I'm special. I wanted the fish. The fish was nice. Um, the sides were okay. I didn't eat those either, and yeah, that was it. Um, I haven't seen any pictures from the carpet. I was a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but then me and Sean took a picture together, so I hope that came out cute. I hope the carpet pictures are cute. I don't know, like, are they gonna be on Getty? We'll see. Nonetheless, it was good all together. So now, I'm gonna wash my face, and then I'm gonna go watch Ultimate Girls Trip, because it's Thursday. I don't have to wake up until noon tomorrow, which is so exciting to me, because waking up early is just not my thing anymore. Like, as I've gotten older, I'm just like, mm-mm, that's not for me. Like, if I don't have, like, I'll do it if I have to for work and stuff, but like, I like to lounge in my bed. Like, that is one of the luxuries that I am very proud to say I have and I would like to keep for the remainder of my life is the ability to stay in bed to whatever hour I want. You know, normally I do wake up at a decent hour, like I'll be up by like 8.30 and stuff, but if I don't have orders to prep or orders to ship and stuff, normally I do my shipping at nighttime anyway, just cause like, I'll, I'm always up late. So I do my shipping at nighttime, but if I'm not up late, or whatever, I'll, you know, stay in bed until noon, one o'clock. And I don't make any, you know, any secret of it. And I don't hold any guilt about, around it. I don't, I don't. So let me wash this off, add some moisturizer, and go watch TV. Ah, I'll let y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, well, it's good afternoon, it's like noon. I'm kind of just getting up out of bed. I wanted to like quickly edit my get ready with me, the makeup get ready with me. Um, but it took so long to get those images downloaded. I love to edit on my phone still, so it took so long to get those images downloaded in the resolution that I wanted. Um, sorry if you hear the shower going. I'm about to jump in the shower. I have to go to work. The client that I had a fitting with today is part two where it's a performance, so she has a performance today on MTV Live. So I'm going to get her dressed and her dancers. And it feels so good and grounding to kind of be doing all of this myself. Like normally I'd have an assistant, like, you know, I'd go do the fitting and stuff and then like have an assistant for the day of for dressing or vice versa and stuff. But like over the past, I want to say like two and a half, almost three years, like I've kind of fallen back from working with assistants so much and really wanted to be more hands-on and stuff because like I felt like I was losing the essence of styling I was losing the essence kind of just getting caught up in the accoutrements of it all and you know the ease of it all and my career had gotten on autopilot in a sense where it was just like everything was kind of just like it was good it was rolling everything was good don't get me wrong but like I felt like there was that one-to-one -one connection that started to go missing for me and newer clients like when it came to like <clears throat> ryan or kiki kehlani i was always there and then with newer clients it was like i would figure out a way to like stick an assistant in there and stuff just so i could prioritize doing other things but now i like i said i'm taking my time and figuring out what i give my what i allow my time to just because i really love what i do and i want to change the way i do it so i don't get burned out or become you know jaded or whatever 
may happen along the course i'm trying to just protect that as much as possible and i know this sounds like a little hotep but whatever but um yeah so i'm making myself more available to those things also it saves me a fuck ton of money let's be real like cutting costs when it comes to assistance and tailoring and shipping freight all of those things messenger service by the time all of that's done i'm like girl i've spent double triple the rate just on the logistics of it all so now it's like ground take your time and do things do as much as you can yourself and that also lets me cherry pick the things that i allow my my time to so that's where i'm at with it i'm going to get in the shower and get on the road and then i have a friend's birthday dinner tonight at eight we wrap at seven so i'm gonna get ready at my friend's house so not only am i carting wardrobe with me today i'm carting my personal look my makeup my toiletries because i'm likely gonna stay the night at my friend's house because we will be drunk so like coming back home is not gonna happen tonight so like it's just like a lot of moving parts so i'm gonna get all that done and try to vlog as much as i can today i'll let you later hey y'all good morning um sorry this one's gonna be a quickie i couldn't take you guys with me to casa cipriani there is a no video no phone policy I just got home. I stayed the night at my friend's house because, like I told y'all, I wasn't coming back home. I was inebriated, all of that. I'm now about to drive out to my mom's. I've run out of spices again. I'm gonna drive out to my mom's because I have a ton of orders to pack. And then I'm going out tonight. And um, this is gonna conclude this vlog because now I've realized that this is not a weekly vlog. This vlog has been going on for two weeks. So, thanks so much for watching. Um, and until next time, make a good decision.